Super Sunday here in Venice saw plenty of spectators but wasn't blessed with the win for the America's Cup World Series final day. The crowd pleaser AC 500 speed trial was won by Luna Rossa Pirano. The locals came in all manner of craft to support the Italians and Chris Draper then went head to head against Terry Hutchinson in the AC match racing final. Artemis Racing won the start and despite the challenge from a charging Luna Rossa Pirano, the American helmsman on the Swedish AC 45 maintained that lead to the end. So to the triple point scoring final of the AC Fleet Racing Championship and the light conditions meant getting a clean start crucial. And this is just what Dean Barker delivered. Great job from New Zealand. They've, they've rounded just clean Don't in go front. In Don't go in! Don't go in! Don't go in! An energy surging into the lead, blanketing the wind of Emirates Team New Zealand here. The French just like to sail their own race and stay away from everybody. They did that at the start. It looks like a collision here between Bundock and Korea and New Zealand. Ouch. Everybody wants to see this. Look at the crowd. This is great. It's not going to board the boats, though. Well, we're going to have some penalties for sure with all these boats colliding. That's, that's kind of, whoa! Get a ball, Troy! Oh my gosh. Oh, Falling overboard, guy. trying to push off. Come that's on, Troy Tyndale, who's the wind trimmer. I don't know what he was he doing pushing it. off the boat, not trimming the wind. Artemis inside here at the mark. Checking They're getting out. pretty close. And there's a penalty to Team New Zealand. After an hour of racing, energy team are just a few hundred meters from the finish line and Oracle Team USA Spittle have charged down the Grand Canal in a final challenge. But despite the speedy charge from Jimmy Spittle, it's a great win for the 52-year-old French sailor Loic Peyron and the energy team. An emphatic overall win at the America's Cup World Series here in Venice. Second place points today extend Jimmy Spittle's lead in the America's Cup World Series overall by four points from a disappointed Emirates Team New Zealand in second with Artemis racing third as the AC-45s now head to Newport, Rhode Island for June.